I really wish that hadn't happened. I really wish... <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Free to Play Friday. My name's Chris, aka Sparta Chris. We're gonna play a free game, because that's the name of the show. Free to Play Friday. Uh, it's a game I know nothing about. It's called Charlotte. I think it's supposed to be spooky ish. Tab, press that. Why? Why tab and why the X key? Okay, I just did. Well, and then I hit tab. And the music stopped. Well, that made me sad. Now I now I miss the music. Um, okay, let's go let's do a new game here. Oh, it is very seldom that mere ordinary people like John and myself secure ancestral halls for the summer. A colonial mansion, a hereditary estate, I would say a haunted house, and reach the height of romantic felicity. But that would be asking too much of fate. Still, I will proudly Ah, oh, fuck! The du Judiciary Committee of the House of Representatives receiving a uh, deputation of a female suffragist January 11th, 1871, a lady delegate reading her argument in favor of women's voting. Fucking shit, let me read it! Uh, um... Oh. Well, now it's gone. We don't get to read anything, we can't learn! Ugh! What do we do? Oh. Charlotte, Sopine, uh, Sopine has accepted your, your sketches. Okay. If I do not die young, I hope to live as a great artist. But if I die young, I intend to have my journal, which cannot fail to be interesting, published. Feels awfully high and mighty of them. Small place. Small place. Um, so... The one thing I did see is this is based on some kind of book. Well, this doesn't bode well. Um, and this seems to have a whole lot of... Maybe this is based on a... A book about, like, an artist? Uh, or maybe this is a real-life person? It must be a real-life person, because I'm guessing this is their actual art. I'm really getting... I'm really getting glad not to marry. Hmm, that's a that's an interesting way to say that. I am really getting glad not to marry. I should rage as I do now at com confinement and steady work. If I let that business alone and go in my own way, what I gain in individual strength and development of personal power of character, my myself as self, you know, not merely as a woman. <laughs> I feel like this is something written by a drunk person. Okay. Oh, that useful animal, a wife and mother, will I think make up and more than make up in usefulness and effect for the other happiness that part of me would so enjoy. I know it's I, I'm I know it's just old timey English or something, folks, but my god, if it doesn't sound like just drunk writing. Oh. Oh no, it's one of these. Oh, it's one of these where the eyes follow you. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't like that. That's a big bummer. We have been hoping every day that we should see you back. But suppose the weather has prevented your coming. We hope you can begin the new term Monday fi the Monday 15th and that you will have no further hindrances. We enclose your report which you will not which you will not expect to be very good on account of protracted absences. With regards to your mother from Mrs. Fielden and myself. I'm not going to be able to read that very well. So she's she's slack and for some reason, home soap. They're, oh, I see. So it's these children and they're kind of like portraying her as a witch because she's got the broomstick between her legs. I've dropped the heart business once and for all. It never was 
as uh, strong as my hat, and the sooner I squelch it all together, the more I firmly shall I shall progress. <laughs> I'm just gonna read all of her postcards drunk. If I were a man, Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Wow, this is this is a lot to read. Did they just put the book in here? Well, guys, you don't want to see me just sit here and read, do you? Oh my god, how much? Wow. I can't... How do... How do we... But... Oh, okay. It makes you just wait on the page for a while before it it stops. Where's my broomstick? Yeah, I don't like how that follows you around. Let's see. Sofonisba. Sofonisba Anguizola. was an Italian Renaissance painter born in Cremona to an impoverished noble family. She was well educated in her apprenticeship with local painters and set a precedent for women to be accepted as students of art. She traveled to Rome and Milan, where her talent was recognized and became the tutor of Elizabeth of Valois, the Queen of Philip II of Spain. In Madrid, with the rank of Lady in Waiting, she later became an official court painter to the king and adapted her style to the more formal requirements of official portraits for the Spanish court. After the queen's death, Philip helped arrange an aristocratic marriage for her, and she continued to practice as a leading portrait painter, apparently with the support of her husband. Well, that's kind of cool. Sounds like she did a lot for women in art at the time. That's great. Uh, Elizabeth Boy Beaugereau? Beaugereau was an American who went to Paris to study painting. Paris was the center of the art world, but women were not allowed to study at the... Oh, okay, let's try this one. Ecole... Ecole de Beau. Ecole de Beau Arts. So she enrolled in private classes. Her determination paid off, and in 1868, she was one of the first American women to exhibit at the Paris Salon. Beaujoreau is known for her use of color and for producing works in a monumental style usually associated with male artists. Very cool. Very soft features. This looks very good. This could be like a photograph. Very well done. I, I was an art major, folks. So, uh, I'm gonna pretend I know what, what I'm talking about. Wait, this wasn't here before. Charlotte. Nate Perkins, a member of the advanced uh, class of the Rhode Island School of Design, is thoroughly and well able to give it instruction. Blah, 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 blah. Jane person who wishes to learn to draw. So I was going to become a teacher, maybe? Okay. Um, I did a lot of art history. I did several art history classes. Um, oh! Hello. Oh, these blasted locks. John denies it, but I'm sure he is responsible. I suppose it serves as some protection against... Well, I dare not think about it, but why won't they let tell me how it works? The system makes no sense to me. I suppose they wish me to stay safe in my library. Well, what is one to do? Okay. Um, I'll get there, I guess. I'm still looking at stuff. This looks like Joaquin Phoenix. Like, with, like from Joker, but without the makeup on. That's just Joaquin Phoenix right there. So... Okay. Charlotte A. Perkins is a member of the advanced class, Rhode Island School of Design. Handsome, well poised. She's a handsome woman. Uh, men will talk with, and so I will be taking the broad road of individuality. Apart from sex, I've decided that I am not domestic, and I don't want to be a mother. Man, you go. Good for you. Don't let the patriarchy keep you down. Oh, wow. This is sure a hell of a lot of reading. 
Hell of a lot of reading, though this is a walking sim, so I should probably expect that. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Oh. Wait, can you do that? Can you just put... Can you just put an entire book in here? Okay. Woman's Sufferance. In suffrage. Pretend I said the right word. This is interesting. Huh. Why women vote in Colorado? Well, if anyone wants to do a little bit of light reading, there you are. Oh, cool. So it's like the sketches for the other thing. That's interesting for the postcard. I like that. Oh, yeah! This is rad. Looks like a little spot of blood there. Huh. Martha's manifold little dearness will make up for her husband and children and all that I shall miss. Okay, okay. Um. I guess I gotta hit this button first, huh? Oh. I don't even have to hit the red button. What does the red button do? Nothing? Okay, we got like a straight up museum. So it's not just like... It's not just the one um, room. I thought we were just maybe big fans of something. Let me out. Thought we were just big fans. Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! No, I did not know! I did not know to expect ghosts! I did not know to expect ghosts in this walking sim museum game! Oh! <laughs> I asked you to throw. Oh my god. Well, really, I can't throw them out. They belong to the owner, after all. I do put them away as you ask, but someone keeps replacing them. Fucking hell. Um, I want to be able to move around this house freely while the door's locked. For our own good. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't want to talk to Jeannie anymore because she spooked me and that wasn't very nice. That was not nice at all. Vote for the celebrated man tamer. Nice. Can you just back off? Okay. God, that means more shit. The store will never open for you. Haven't you learned the rules yet? How much, how many times are, is shit just gonna, like, pop up and spook me? Fuck, I'm not looking forward to this. Artemisia Gentileschi. I love that name, Artemisia. Cool. Artemisia. Buy pearl tobacco. Fair enough. Sold. <laughs> the Age of Iron. All you had to do was put a, a half-naked woman on it, and I'm oh, tobacco? Yeah, okay, I guess so. Yeah, could you calm down? You were making a lot of fuss, too. Oh. Um, Miss Edmonia Lewis. Uh, taking a studio in Rome, works as a sculptress in one of the rooms formerly occupied by Great Master Canova. Yo, chill a little bit there. Oh! Oh, look at this. That one doesn't open, huh? Alright. I was wondering if she was going to pop back up. It's It spooks me every time. Uh, Judith. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Holofernes. I don't know that one. I don't know his name. I don't know who he is. 
Whoa, did that? Okay. Did it look like anyone else, like this thing snuck up on me? Mm-hmm. Glenn has only one military painter, and it is a woman. Interesting. I've seen this painting before. Who did this? Oh. I won't pretend like I know how to say this word. Oh, it's done of her daughter. Oh, cute. Very cute. This one I've seen as well. Um... It was once ascribed to a man, but it wasn't. Uh, cool. Can't steal our credit. Oh, well. Leaves of grass. I don't think such a thing exists. Well, okay. The busted sideshow. Victoria Woodhull? I now announce myself as a candidate for the presidency. I anticipate criticism, but however unfavorable, I trust that my sincerity will not be called into question. Brady photo in New York. Oh, oh did she actually run for president? I'm assuming it's one of those things that gets swept under the rug, like so many things. Uh... Interesting. I like this. This is pretty cool looking. Yeah. Okay, no one sneak up on me, please. No one sneak up on me right now. I, I really don't like that. Lady Hamilton. <laughs> Lady Hamilton was not very intelligent, although she was exceedingly mocking and denigrating to the point that her faults were her only means of conversation. But she was cunning, and this helped her to snare her husband. Oh, she's got a great smile, at least. Maybe. I don't know. What's this do? Well, I heard a door. Oh! The truth is, I don't like to go to my room. It's the wallpaper. There are things in that paper no one knows but me, or ever will. And it is like a woman stooping down and creeping about behind that pattern. Oh, oh great. I don't like it a bit. I wonder. I begin to think. Wish John would take me away from here. So I'm gonna see creepy stuff in the wallpaper, huh? Scotland for ever. You need to let me out. Any other ghosts? Hello? Alright. Women's rights. Oh, so many sculptures. Press E to. Okay, where's the ghost? Oh, hi! Okay, so that wasn't as bad. Hello, Mrs. Roosevelt and Dorothy. Um, yeah, who is Charlotte? Have you seen Charlotte? That's the owner. Okay. No. Um, she's tiresome, reform types. She's not content to be a wife and mother, but struggles against the protection of the stronger sex and foolishly wishes to be their equal. Doesn't realize the power we have indirectly through the sacred sphere of home and family life. Why is a woman to be treated differently? We were made as helpers. Quality of the sexes will establish those competitive relations which will destroy chivalrous consideration. We must co op cooperate, not compete. Mm. You mustn't turn into one of those new women. Uh, so this chick kind of sucks. Whatever. I'll do what I want. You don't owe me. Oh, this is a cool photo. Uh, must marry him. Uh, mustn't even think of doing anything to get there. Must not view all men as possible husbands, yet are wholly blameworthy if, for want of such careful consideration, a man finds himself encouraged without acceptance. 
Well, it's again too much to read. TLDR. Set this button. Well, now what opened? Oh, oh. That room opens now. Okay. Let's explore more of uh, this stuff first. What is this bird cage doing? All right. Huh. All right. Oh. Oh. Hope that was a staged photo. It's got to be, right? It would have to be a staged photo because, like, it took a long time to take photos back in the day. Huh. Just kind of checking out a little bit of everything. Culture and dress. Household management. Ah, what is going on here? Creepy. Old maids. You're the only old maid I see. Oh, that door leads in here as well. Okay, so what ghost is going to be in here that's going to get me? Ooh, I like this. This is cool looking. Cool fashion. My little kitten would like to put my hand under your chin and look way down into your big brown eyes, ask questions, deposit kisses, even if the Philistines ever should see it. What care I? If I am not ashamed of having sentiments, I am not ashamed of admitting them. And why shouldn't I love my little comfort when I haven't anything else to love? Okay. <laughs> Just kind of reading here and there. The bath. The bath. Wait, I just clicked on that one. Oh, they're the same thing. Are they not? You're slowly dawning on me. I'm gradually realizing what you are and what you are to me. You are my story and support to my other self. So it's like the... Oh. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, then. Ah! I caught Jenny the other day. She didn't know I was in the room. When I asked her in a quiet, a very quiet voice with the most restrained manner possible what she was doing with the paper, she turned around as if she had been caught stealing and looked quite angry, asked me why I should frighten her so. Then, did not that sound innocent, but I know she was studying that pattern, and I'm determined that nobody shall find it out but myself. This is the pattern she was talking about. The this wallpaper that spooks spooks us. The spooky wallpaper. It's a big hat. Real big hat. That one's real cracked. Oh, what a pleasantly relaxed chap he is. He's so relaxed. Accused of criminal intimacy with Elizabeth Tilton. Well. Oops. I always did like the curls like that. I always thought those were really cool looking. Oh, look at you and your hat. Oh, you're a painter yourself. Oh, is this a self-portrait, maybe? Huh. Just, uh, object of envy and the target of vitriolic and often misogynist libels in the press. Oh. Um, thanks to her own sexual charms that she did not even paint her own pictures. Uh, so, 
people were just dragging her down. Hmm. Why is he in a pickle? Heinz tomato soup, but in a pickle. Okay. Promise that neither of us will ever be put on any pretense uh, of feeling and never have the slightest falsehood or deceit. Our bond of union, two matching gold latticed red bracelets to be worn as a badge, an ornament of our pledge. And this is from someone, uh, this was all written by someone named Charlotte, right? So I guess this is like maybe a couple, like Charlotte and... Is it Charlotte and Martha maybe these two women that are in love in a time where that's not accepted? Is that what I'm taking from this? And then the house here is like full of um, kind of stuff just kind of like um, teaching a little bit about, you know, not being like subjected to being like shoehorned into like the um I guess the patriarchal role that a lot of women are expected to just be thrown into. Oh wait, this might be our confirmation. Can I hum humbug that I am sweet love of sir, marry all you please and be loved and cared for to your heart's content. You should go ahead and enjoy yourself there are in Enrollment from a steady contact with a fresh, wholesome, manly nature. So are you loving Charlotte? Yeah, okay. So it sounds like, um... Charlotte is in love with Martha. Martha might be not entirely sure where she lies. And, like, Charlotte's trying to appeal to Martha to really think about stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! God damn it! All right, Kate Douglas Wigan. You fucker. Ugh. You and your writing. Hmm. Isn't there a book over here, or is it just you? You are the floating book. What's this? Infallible French female pills, number one. What do they do? I'm guessing nothing good is probably the answer. Artist daughter. Huh. So it's very much like a, a historical lesson in like sort of like women's uh, rights and suffrage kind of through the ages, to be honest. Hmm. There's so much stuff in here that you could read if you really, like, wanted to spend the time, like, looking through everything. Very interesting. Whoa. I did just hear a noise. Okay, so there are other things we're going to need to hit here. I think we need to find other white buttons and we have to make sure they're all hit. I think we've hit this one already. 
I don't remember if this one was... Yeah, we've hit that one. I think we've hit this one. Oh, no, that opened this one. Oh, okay, I forgot about you. Alright. Boobs! Alright, here we go. What's one this one? Uh, Gustave Corbet. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm getting a little afraid of John. He seems very queer at times, and even Genie has an in inexplicable look. Hmm. I've watched John when he did not know I was looking and came into the room suddenly on the most innocent excuses, and I've caught him several times looking at the paper. <gasps> and Jenny too. I caught... Or, Jenny. I caught Jenny with her hand on it once. Hmm. Well, that's... not very nice. Let's not comment on that one. Who's this chap? They're like hiding all the uh all the nudies back here. Okay, that's got a red button, so this can't do anything for us just yet, I don't think. Oh. I don't know that that's something I want. What did that just open? Okay, that opens that back up. So red closes doors. White opens doors. Okay. Got it. What? Oh, it's a mirror. Okay. Signs of hysteria. Hysteria. Hysteria was a cool uh, cartoon back in the day. Does anyone remember Hysteria? Every once in a while, I, I spook myself because I turn around and see a painting and I think it's a person. And it makes me... I really wish that hadn't happened. I really wish... <laughs> Why? Why was that necessary? Dear God. <sighs> oh, we'll open now. Is this door open yet? It's not open yet. Oh my god. That sucked. Well, this is this is open now. Hey, ghosts. Okay. That's great. Ah, uh, wait. This is to Walter on our wedding, love Charlotte. So th Charlotte got married after all, huh? What the? So did Charlotte get married specifically because of um? Oh. Because Maria got married? I'm not sure. 
Her whole sexual nature was aflame. It was too passionate. There was a danger to us of the worst sort, wrecking to moral and physical well-being. If we were together, we would be constantly tempted to sexual intercourse. Huh. Wonder if that was Maria left that, maybe? Or maybe Walter left it. I don't know. It's a bathhouse. Okay. I've seen a, some, uh, I don't think I've seen, I don't know if I've seen these exact ones, but I've seen some like these before. I wonder if this is Charlotte. This must be John? Maybe? Or Walter, maybe? Wait, doesn't it say Alden right here? Or on one of these? One of those said Alden. At one point. Oh, the, it changed! His picture changed. It was different a second ago, wasn't it? Or am I seeing stuff? Uh, okay. Whereas I, Charlotte A. Perkins, am at this time 23 years old and not content. I desire to know why not. What have I done so far to fulfill my duties as a member of the world? If I were dead tomorrow, what would, what were lost? What do I mean to do and be? Why am I unhappy now? I promised to marry Charles Walter Stretson. Okay, so she married this Charles or Walter person. Shall keep that promise if we both live and are not prevented. I've agreed to be his wife. Yes, I love him. Yes, and by love I mean that I want him more than anyone else on earth. That and more. It should mean more. It should mean that if he loved not me, I should still love him. Should I? As far as I can know, now know and foresee, yes. I'm kind of confused by that. Oh, hey, John. Wasn't there a woman ghost here a second ago? Let's look. I wanted to look at that, but you're not gonna let me, okay. I shouldn't be wandering around. Oh, don't call me a little girl. Um. Goodbye, John. Did you really gotta lock the door? Um. Jules Joseph Lefabre. Lefavre. Lefavre. Brett Favre. Why is there a dinosaur bones out there? And look, there's a ghost right there. Ghost in the window. Multiple ghosts. Am I a ghost? So many more books. Sex in blank. Oh, education. Fat and blood. Oh, I hear music now. We must be towards the end of something. How do I... How do I get out of here? Oh, dang it. I don't... I wasn't trying to talk to you again, John. Hey, can I leave? Oh. There's, uh... The wallpaper reflected right there. Wait a minute. Okay, I guess I haven't read everything because th that unlocked something. That sounded like unlock the door. The wallpaper has a kind of sub pattern in a different shape, particularly irritating for one. You can only see it in certain lights and not clearly in, but in the places where it isn't faded and where the sun is just so, I can see a strange, provoking, formless sort of figure 
that seems to skulk about behind that s silly and conspicuous front design. You must hurry. Only one more week left. What does that mean? Oh! Okay, so it didn't open that door. It opened a door. There's no going back from here. Are you sure? So opened this door. So that hint with the thing there, that was the hint that it was here. So I was kind of right with my assumption. So, oh. Please stand by. Uh, well, that's a, oh. Whoa! This seems bad. This seems like something bad happens. This seems bad. I don't think... I don't think I should have gone through there. Oh, God. I've grown wildly, darkly, strangely... Dear mother, sorry. I've grown wildly, darkly, strangely, beyond a mother's recognition, beyond my own. The girl you knew, the woman you love died some years past. A distance incalculable and impossible gulf lies between me and your old friend. We may be friends again, new ones, but I do not dare hope it. This I will say of my love for you. Though through the first year or two of my marriage in every depth of pain and loss and loneliness, yours was the name my heart cried, not his. I loved you better than anyone. In those days when I had a heart to love and ache, and now always in the future of wealth and fame which I dangled before my own eyes as an incentive to life and effort, I always think first of you as a sort of haven. Grace Channing saved what there is left of me, and I love her, I think, as well as any one on earth. It is different with you. Oh, we don't get to read the rest. Okay, it's different with you. With you, I was happy. And I think... That's what I've forgotten. More years with you, the blessed summer of 81, I doubt. Um, most people have more happiness in all their lives as I did then. I do not forget, but neither do I remember because it hurts. So, Charlotte and Martha, I think, had a... Had had a little fling. In... In 81. So, they had their time. Um... Charlotte was still in love with her, even though they did... Get married. To, to to men and kind of went about doing what is expected of them as women at the time even though they well maybe Martha wanted to but Charlotte may not have wanted to ah ha hello woman in the wall we must get to work now we're leaving tomorrow oh is this Charlotte Okay, so I, so I'm a person that is stumbling upon this whole thing. Are you Charlotte? I haven't ri finished ripping off the wallpaper. You can call me that if you like. I've, you've done a fine job. I was able to get out and they won't be able to keep us there if we don't want. Now we need a safe place to rest. They will come to take me away soon. What am I to do? Powers that don't give us much room to maneuver in, but I think I've got a way. Open a door for us. Go into the passage. You'll be safe there. What about John and Jenny? Don't worry. You threw away the key. It will take them some time to get in. I will find the opening. I'll meet you in the passage. So we have to find a way to escape from this place. How do we escape? Petition for divorce from Charles. Oh, okay. So I'm starting to wonder if, um, so this is about a woman that moves into this house, finds all this info about Charlotte, Charlotte's life in regards to like Martha and all that stuff. And, you know, it's also been learning about like all these things with women and stuff and is starting to figure out oh um, like she's just kind of learning oh ah 
It is so pleasant to be able to creep around as I please. I have to get back behind the pattern at night, and that is hard. But here I can creep smoothly on the floor, and my shoulder just fits in uh, smooch around the wall. and lose my way. I don't want to go outside. Even if Ginny asked me to uh, creep on the ground, and everything is green instead of yellow. Why, there's John at the door. It is no use, young man. You can't open it. I threw the key away where you'll never find it. So I am now behind the wallpaper. Weird. And there's a secret passage. So. Oh, shit. Is there going to be somebody in there? Oh, jeez. Yikes. Yeah, I think we'll leave. Um, so I'm thinking that this woman's moving into this house, is learning stuff about Charlotte and uh, her life, and is maybe going a little crazy, or honestly is seeing these ghosts and stuff, and it's leading them her down this weird rabbit hole. Oh, that's the end? Wait, why, why are the credits overlapped with this? Okay, so I just went ahead and pulled the, um, the game back up because as soon as I made it to the credits and everything, the game just completely crashed and just closed. It, that was it. That was just the end. So, interesting concept, like, I I'll say the story is interesting. The game, very, very flawed. I, I think there's a lot of cool stuff to learn in here as far as, like, historic things. But, like, if this is based off a book, I mean, maybe just read the book and you'll get the story a lot more clearly. Um, because this, this is a bit broken, I think just in so abruptly you don't even get to like read the end of the dialogue it just goes credits overlapping and then crashes and you can't do it okay it did give me some scares though but that might have just been because i wasn't expecting it <laughs> anyway interesting uh concept so there you go if you did like this please like share comment subscribe um and i hope you enjoy the rest of your friday because if you don't I'm going to trap you in the wallpaper. Goodbye.